Hi everyone, this is Brian for Looker. Our product team is delighted about some exciting new features that will make Looker even better than before. And we know you'll be delighted as well. So in this video, we'll show you new data experiences that enable people across your organization to find insights on their own, wherever they work, including a super cool new Slack integration. Then you'll be introduced to new capabilities in the Looker application platform that simplify how you build your own data applications. And finally, we'll dive into the foundation capabilities that have been added to improve productivity and performance of Looker. Let's go. Let me introduce you to the new dashboard experience in Looker. It's an updated modern look and feel with an all new filter experience, simpler for end users, with more controls to design an interactive experience for authors. When you add a filter, you can customize a number of attributes about it. For example, the default values and even the UI control it shows up with. For example, radio buttons or toggles to match your use case. This makes it much easier for users to find the data they're looking for. You can also customize the location of the filter with an overflow area for less common filters used to keep your dashboard streamlined and focused while enabling more power for advanced users. We've also introduced a new capability called cross-filtering. This is simple interactivity that allows users to ask more questions without you having to predict and build dashboards for every single combination. This still leverages Looker's in-database processing technology to allow detailed exploration without the hassle of constructing and maintaining data extracts. With Looker's Slack integration, boost adoption and encourage collaboration by bringing data to where users already are, send content to a channel on a one-time basis, or on a schedule so everyone stays up to date. Newly available with Looker, you can now send content with your own Slack user account to different workspaces you're a member of and to private channels. Additionally, links to Looker content you can paste into Slack conversations can be expanded into the channel line for at-a-glance access. Looker provides the foundation for critical data and web apps for the startup to the enterprise with a robust suite of embedded functionality and APIs. Now, Looker is taking the next step to make it quicker, easier, and cheaper to create new data apps for your business. Introducing the Extension Framework. The Extension Framework provides all of the foundational tech needed to host and run JavaScript applications. No need to spin up new servers or deal with things like authentication to Looker. Simply point Looker at your Git repo with your JavaScript file, and we'll run your application straight from your Looker UI. Everything can run with your Looker server right next to the dashboards and data that powers your teams. You can build your own app with the extension framework or download one created by Looker or by our active community in Looker's marketplace. The marketplace provides a central place for Looker and our partner ecosystem to distribute powerful data apps, as well as pre-built data models and cutting edge visualizations tailored for you. Looker recently launched our first app developed on our extension framework, a data dictionary. This is accessible and deployable by any customer through the marketplace. The data dictionary provides a purpose-built user experience to help users find and trust the fields that they need to conduct analysis, as well as for modelers to audit their Looker models for redundant fields and missing descriptions. Over 400 customers are already taking advantage of the data dictionary today and will continue to receive updates as we build new functionality. Take advantage of our data dictionary and extension framework now and keep an eye out for upcoming improvements and new apps in the months to come. Let me show you updates we're making to the integrated development environment for LookML. As a Looker developer, you spend a lot of time editing your model and so productivity and efficiency really matter. This is the current IDE and it has some challenges that we've heard from many of our developer users. First is the process of examining errors in LookML is limited to a very small pane in the left-hand side, which can make it hard to find your errors and fix them quickly. Second, a lot of the power of the IDE was hidden behind actions in the top left section, and it was hard to find them and navigate them and make sense over what they were related to. The new IDE aims to solve these problems in addition to adding some new features. So here is the new IDE. Let me start by giving you a really quick tour. 
First of all, just related to those errors, we've moved them to the right-hand side. They take up a full pane, so now you can click through and very easily find all of your errors, diagnose and fix them, and validate LookML with one quick click. Second of all, we've added a new left-hand navigation that groups related actions together. All of your Git actions are now together in one place where you can switch your branch. You can commit, you can look at history, you can pull up from other branches, etc., etc. We've also brought settings into one area as well. In addition to reorganizing some of the basic capabilities to make them more clear, we've added some new things. One of the key features is the object browser. So rather than the standard file-based view where you're looking at all of your content, your model is based on the file they're stored in. The object browser looks at the model concepts. So your model and all the different explorers in them and the views that they contain, and even down to the field level. And this makes it much easier to find and navigate between all the different concepts inside of your model in one click. That's a quick tour of the new IDE coming later this year. Aggregate awareness lets you get blazing fast performance, even on huge datasets for common high-level BI style questions. In this case, I have a dataset with 3.3 billion events from gaming devices, and the dashboard here just computes very high-level metrics, the overall event count, and a summary of the number of events by month for each day. So then computing these metrics is very fast. Just to see how fast it is, let's go ahead and refresh this dashboard, and you'll see that it only takes about a second or two to get these back. On the right-hand side, I'm generating two other tiles without using aggregate awareness, and you can see those queries are still running. It's going to take quite a while, so we'll come back to this a little bit later. Aggregate awareness isn't just good for making dashboards fast. They also make all of your end users explore their data faster. So here I have Looker's exploration experience, and I'm doing some ad hoc exploration on top of that events view, which is the 3.3 billion rows. If I go and build a sample query here, like events by month, and then by number of events, without me even knowing the aggregate awareness exists, Looker will use those aggregate awareness tables to give me back blazing fast performance. And I can see by looking at the SQL view that it used an existing aggregate awareness pre-computed set of aggregates to run this query. So that's why it was fast. But the beauty for the end user is if I want to do something more advanced, like I want to go and filter to a specific URI or to a specific event type that it wasn't included in my pre-computed aggregates, you can still run those queries in the same experience. It just takes a little bit more time. If I go back to my dashboard, here we can see that the queries without accurate awareness have now completed. And if I look at the query history, we can see that unlike the aggregate awareness ones that took one second, the ones that didn't use it were 20 and 24 seconds, so orders of magnitude slower. What an improvement in performance for aggregate awareness. And that's it. Please check out the handy time code list below to review your favorite sections of what's new in Looker. And there's so much more to know. So please visit looker.com to get more info on how to get the most out of Looker. See you soon.